Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, May 22nd or 23rd. <laughs> One of those. I think it's the 22nd. And today I got my May Nature Crate. Well, I didn't get it today. I got it yesterday or there before that. <laughs> but I'm sharing it with you guys today. Anyways, I got my April one sometime last week. And then I got my May one also last week. <laughs> Anyways, there's stuff everywhere. I'm trying to clean. It's not working. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put anything. But I, I did mop today. Two rooms. So I mop some more. But anyways, there's just there's house stuff. I'm, I live in my house, so it's lived in there's stuff. <laughs> anyways, let's get into the yarn. May's theme was watercolor, which is so pretty. And here's the yarns you could have gotten. These are the regular crates, and these are the sock crates. So you could have got a pink called Spray Rose. Is that what that says? Uh, a bluish color called Hydrangea, or a yellow called Daffodil. I got hydrangea, so I got the blue color, and I can't touch it a whole lot because <laughs> it's got a pack in it. It's really pretty. It is a chain, what's it called, chinette, I think. It's like, instead of being plied, they are twisted together, which is what plied is. <laughs> um, it looks like it's chain, you know, it's like little chain links. I, I, my camera phone's not good enough to uh, show that. Maybe if I can think about it, I'll take a picture of it <laughs> and insert it, but uh, that's the color I got. So it is Vitalana. Lofty DK <laughs> and the color is hydrangea. Jesse's playing with uh, June. It is 48% merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, 32% organic Pima cotton, and it's DK weight. There's 274 yards in each hank. And this has already got a home. I'm trading this with Doris <laughs> from Rose Cottage Studio. I trade a lot of my knit crate to her because she likes making shirts and stuff with them. I'm allergic to most of them, and then she trades me yarn that I can use. Uh, acrylics and cottons and stuff that I can use. So, Or I can use uh, wool, but it has to be like lower content. Like Karen cakes don't bother me, but like super wooly things do. I just have sensitive skin, but I am allergic to alpaca. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> so I do not keep any alpaca. But it is pretty, and I love flowers, so I love that they're named after flowers. And then the extra this month was a stitch marker <laughs> from... Trinkles. Yeah, okay. And it, it looks like a little artist that's painting, but the painting they're painting is a yarn ball, is what it looks like. You can't really see it that good. It's like a holographic y looking thing. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. They they did stitch markers with this person before too. But that is the um the yarn from this time. It's pretty, but I have to tell you. Nick Crate has raised their prices. I got an email about it. I'll make sure he's not coming in here because he ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> um, they raised the prices, I believe, $6 a box. I think it used to be $24.99 and now it's $33.99 $30, or $33.99. They raised it quite a bit, which I understand because the inflation and the cost of shipping is going up and they get all their yarns from other countries. But uh, that just sucks. <laughs> so, uh, they're probably going to lose some business because of their prices going up. But, um, so is life, I guess. But anyways, I got to package this up with my Aprils, which is right here. I got the clay pot for April. Two cents to Doris. And then I got to package up the, this ball, two cents to the winner. And then a Kathleen, uh, tomorrow morning. So, I got to do that. But that's my knit crate. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Put my glasses back on. I also got a postcard in the mail from Sailboat Barbara. <laughs> I always call her Sailboat Barbara. But she's not Sailboat Barbara now. Right now. She is. Or she was. I don't know if she's still there. But she's Pennsylvania Barbara. <laughs> she was visiting, visiting Pennsylvania for a birthday party. And uh, she sent me a postcard from there. Which was really thoughtful and really cool of her. And the stamp is really neat. It's the fish. <laughs> but um, I'm actually so happy to get these little postcards. I need to start buying postcards and send them to people. Let's see here. I think there's a place on the square here where I can buy postcards for my county and town. And it's got like our waterfalls and stuff on it. I need to go buy a bunch of those. I don't know how much they are though. But um, postcards are cheaper to send too. It doesn't say on here, but they're cheaper than an actual stamp. You can buy just a postcard stamp. But um, yeah, so I was happy about that. So I'm going to set that somewhere, hang it somewhere. <laughs> and enjoy it for a little while before I pack it up. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Oh, I'm wearing a crochet sweater today. Can't see it good. I didn't angle my camera well. <laughs> but this is my, um, what is this called? 
I just made it like, oh, I was pregnant when I made it. It's been a while. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> it's about to make a do crew. It's coming. I can sense it coming. Lightweight. Easy lightweight. Cardigan? No, because it's not a cardigan. Easy lightweight sweater? Easy lightweight something <laughs> from Making Do Crew. I'll link it below. Oh, the actual. Was that. Is this the Stonewash one? Was that this one? Or was that a different one? Did I make another sweater? I'm spacing. Is this the Stonewash one? I can't remember now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be linked below. I promise. I just can't remember what it is. Is this the one that took me forever to make? No, because I was pregnant when I finished this one. Then what was the one that took me forever to make? That I finished in April. Stonewash something. I can't remember now what it was. Oh, that was my Beetlejuice thing. Okay, that was a shrug. This is not that. This is a different thing. Lord, you are probably yelling at me. <laughs> I forgot about that and it's, it's in the bedroom I, I put it in there earlier um this is called like the lightweight easy lightweight something I'll, I'll link it below I like it it is um I got a black cami underneath it it's easier to show you that way <laughs> um it's just a two row repeat it's like a solid and then a, like a what's it called a fillet thing I like it it looks good I'm wearing it in the house because the air conditioner is on so it's cool in the house but it's hot as heck outside so, yeah. But, anyways, I gotta go deal with the kids. So, I'll go edit this and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.